So Billy Slater and his boys get it done in two. What a series, what a win. Queensland have just dropped 32 points on the Blues at Suncorp and I'm not going to lie, we could potentially be on the cusp of another Queensland dynasty. Imagine seeing the original dynasty come to an end, breathing a sigh of relief only for them to reconnect post playing career as the brain trust for a new generation. It's been an impressive couple of series wins. Alright, so my thoughts on the match that was... First of all, we'll take a quick gaze at the stats. For a 32-6 win, the stats definitely don't reflect that scoreline, but it does tell us that Origin is a game of moments, and Queensland definitely capitalized on theirs. Um, it's crazy because their defense pretty much got them home. The Blues had plenty of opportunities, especially inside the 20, but their attack was pretty ordinary. Granted, they did lose Turbo, what, three minutes into the match? Oh, you hate to see it if you're a fan of the game. Let's talk about that. Turbo going down, most would assume you'd throw Cam Murray into the match, but the move that was made was Damian Cook filling in at center. I've been trying to think of the reasoning behind that decision, like, I'm thinking speed, you know, our reasoning for picking the hammer over Dane Gagai, using that speed to take away space and apply pressure. Maybe he thought Cook's speed will be more beneficial in that regard, but in saying that, to throw out your hooking rotation, it's pretty strange. Cam Murray didn't even get a run until the second half, which is even weirder. I've got to say the decision making this series has been pretty bloody awful. From the selections to strategy, now for the actual points scored, there are six tries to one. Tries going to Val Holmes, Murray Taulangi, a Val Holmes double actually, uh, the Hammer, Xavier Coates and Jeremiah Nanai. And for the Blues, the lone try scorer, Damian Cook. Now I will say this, so those first two tries for Queensland, I won't be mad if they went the other way. People were calling for a forward pass from Fafita and people questioning the grounding from Val Holmes, but yeah. Let me know your thoughts on those first two tries from the Queenslanders. As for standouts or player performances in general, it's been a hectic series from the Queensland engine room. We're talking Kota, Fasu Malayawi, Carrigan, Flegler, Fotoika, Fifita. They've been super solid laying the platform for their 1 to 7. Ruben Kota, I think he'll be my man of the series. Another 80 minute performance being moved around the park in different moments of the match. Just chopping blokes left and right. What a bloody find. They've got a nice little balance in that engine room of mongrel and just straight up hard workers. As for the backs, our boy the Hammer, 19 tackles, 1 missed. We talked about it before the series even started. We wanted Hammer in the centers replacing one of the Queensland legends and Gagai. And the Hammer's delivered so far, man. It's not just his speed, his decision making has improved so much. Shout out to Xavier Coates. I'll be the first to say that I did question his selection back in the Origin Arena. And he was so good in his return. The hits he absorbed in those returns, man, they were belting him. Walsh too. But yeah, we could talk about every single player. We won't though, we gotta move on to the Blues. But well, yeah, the Queensland back five, solid. And the spine, I thought DCE was a standout yet again. He's been hectic, not only in this series, but last series as well. This might be one of his best performances, to be honest. Now for the Blues, we'll start with the standouts. Give some props to a few players. The return of Mitch Moses, I thought he was one of their best. His kicking game, decision making, was pretty solid. Payne Haas, man, Payne Haas. No lack of effort from Payne. He was playing for his life out there. In terms of standouts, those two come to mind. I thought Robson looked good in his debut. It'll be interesting to see where they go from here with Robson. I reckon he should be their starter moving forward, with like a Cookie or Uppy coming off the bench. Speaking of Cookie, again, I'm super surprised that they messed off that rotation. Throwing Cook in the center, ultimately giving up that spark off the bench. Uh, was an interesting decision. Like I was saying earlier, uh, that's kind of been their story this year. A bunch of questionable decisions and selections. Uh, where to from here? That's the million dollar question. Do they blow it up for game three and try something completely new? They've got plenty of athletes, plenty of runners that ultimately pass and run themselves into a standstill. We're talking about Luai, Tedesco. I feel like there's not enough genuine footy players, as dumb as that sounds. And I'm looking at players like Cody Walker, for instance, that will give you numerous looks. For mine, Luai is just a little one dimensional for me. Latrell Mitchell at fullback comes to mind. More diverse, more dynamic. Again, is good at reading what's in front of him. He actually has a passing game. I don't want to sound like I'm ragging on your Lou Eyes and Tedesco's, but in terms of attack, they are missing a bit of, I guess, creativity. I just checked Cody Walker's age and he's 33 now, so I guess his time for Origin is over. Which sucks, honestly. I still feel like he didn't really get a proper crack. I do get the decision, though, by the Blues. The combo of Lou Eye and Cleary, who have been dominant for the last three years. It unfortunately just hasn't transitioned into the origin arena that whole play style in general hasn't really worked out for them 
Looking across this team list, looking for more standouts, Isaiah Yo comes to mind. I'm looking at his defense, 48 tackles, none missed. A typical Isaiah Yo performance as as well as uh, Bryant Toole, but yeah. For the Blues, this loss just raises more questions. I'd like to see them mix it up for game three. If Cleary comes back, throw like a Nico Hines in the six, throw even Moses in the six. All I know is it's time to make some pretty tough decisions. Will Freddie actually make them? For as good as Teddy's been for his state, it might be time to move on. I'll say it right now, I know most people will say Dylan Edwards, but I reckon Latrell Mitchell and his passing game will do wonders. I mean, let's be honest, it might be time to move on from Freddy, as harsh as that sounds. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for Origin Game 2. A dominant performance by Queensland, a bland and disappointing performance by the Blues. If you have any thoughts and opinions on the match, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know your hot takes. Who would you bring in? Who would you drop? But for now, that's it from me. As always, if you did enjoy that, be sure to find us straight at that like button. And for more rugby league related content and more content in general, go ahead and drop a cheeky sub. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you here. Later.